Let's move on to our fourth and final main topic today. And our fourth and final main topic today gets submitted to us by Martin Ashton. And Martin writes, Greetings, John and gang. I am in the UK and was watching an interview with Ewan McGregor on The Graham Norton Show where he confirmed that the Obi-Wan series will start filming in March of 2021. Uh, what do you think of this? And do you think they will keep this date Thanks and keep up the great work. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yes, in the all of the drama that we've had surrounding Star Wars and all the drama we've had surra surrounding Lucasfilm and specifically the drama we've had surrounding something like the Obi-Wan series, which has had its own set of specific dramas. It sounds like we finally have something a little bit concrete. Ewan McGregor was being interviewed, and he did come out and say, It's the Obi-Wan story, I suppose, McGregor said. It's not all about me, but it certainly will be a lot of me, which is good. We start shooting in March of next year. So it does sound like we're finally going to get some movement on the Obi-Wan series. Now, March next year, that's, I'm guessing that probably means a 2022 release date for the movie. I'm thinking probably at best we're looking at a 2022 release, but whatever. Do I think they can actually keep this date? Yes, I do. Because this is very different, right? This is not a movie as I was kind of hoping it would be, but it's going to be a series. Therefore, they don't have to worry about release dates. But also, this is not a movie or, or a series that they have to worry about having a lot of locations. This is all going to be in whatever it is they call that room. Whatever they call that room with the with the surrounding virtual environments that they did the Mandalorian in. There's going to be a lot of that. We already heard you McGregor. Stagecraft. The stagecraft. We heard you McGregor talk about that previously, that he's so excited because he gets to use the stagecraft technology, right? That can be a sealed, isolated bubble of a set, much like the NBA had, right? That can be a sealed, a very easy to control situation. So I don't really see any reason why they wouldn't be able to meet their production date. And then when it comes to release date, again, because it's going straight to television, I don't see why any reason why I couldn't that why that would become a problem in the least. So I think they're all good there. The only question becomes, do they have their crap in order? Because remember, they say, oh, we've got everything done. We're all ready to start shooting this. Oh, we're announcing Obi-Wan. We've got our scripts and they're wonderful. And then, yeah, now, yeah, no, now we don't like our scripts. And now we're not shooting when we said we we're going to shoot. As long as they've got their crap in order behind the scenes, production shouldn't be an issue. Release date shouldn't be an issue. And I'm all for it because we need some good stuff here. Rob, you see that you McGregor is now saying they're going to start shooting Obi-Wan in March. Number one, do you believe it? And number two, what do you think about the news? Well, first of all, I think an Obi-Wan series starring Ewan McGregor is the greatest thing in the world. I think that uh, they should have made an Obi-Wan movie instead of the Solo film. And I like Solo. Uh, I, I, because, look, Obi-Wan is a legitimate... Uh, Ewan McGregor was cast by Lucas himself. Other than Alec Guinness, obviously, is a younger Obi-Wan. I don't think there's anybody that gives more credibility to uh to lead a star wars show i think people love him as obi-wan and i think it's a great idea uh i think they've got you know deborah cho is is directing uh deborah chow is directing this series and she was her work on the mandalorian was incredible and like you pointed out using the stagecraft technology they have kind of like how they've been doing other productions they can sequester people away and then kind of make this show in a bubble. So there's not a lot of contact with the outside world. And they don't have to necessarily go on location. They don't have to be at a big studio like Pinewood anymore uh, to get away with doing the show like this. And I think that I believe that they can pull this off, especially starting in March. I mean, that is still five months away, five and a half months away. That's a, a, a long time to get, even if, COVID is still here. I mean, obviously cases are going up. It's not going anywhere anytime soon, but they can, they can do things smart. Production can resume. I mean, they're doing productions other places in the world and I, I think it can happen. And not like that, man, I'm excited. I mean, I'm, I gotta tell you, John, I'm stoked to see, <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, I'm stoked. You know, I just recently got the, uh, the Obi-Wan Revenge of the Sith hot toy figure and I'm I'm glad I have it. It made me a better man. And I just I love that figure. 
and I want to see him come and kick ass. I mean, after Order Order 66 and the Jedi are decimated, Obi-Wan's a man without a country now. You know, what kind of shenanigans does he get up to in a galaxy that's falling apart? I can't wait for this, to be honest. Yeah, it's one of those projects that to me for a long time, I was not really interested because, again, it's do we need to keep covering ground of characters we already know? Do we need to keep doing all this? But the more and more, as more time passed and more and more, I heard more and more of the audience and the fans and some friends of mine talking about it. I got one over. I'm like, oh, you know what? Yeah, there's probably some very, very cool things you could do here with Obi-Wan. And then it kind of culminated that when you, I was at D23, when you McGregor came on the stage and he was like with Kathleen Kennedy, he says, Kathleen, ask me if I'm going to be Obi-Wan again. <laughs> she goes, you are you going to be Obi-Wan again? And he just looked at the audience. Yes. I, I got to admit, I got excited. I got excited. So here it you is, know, the question. Oh, go ahead, Rob. There's a clip of him on the Graham Norton show. And he they, they give him, Graham Norton pulls out these lightsabers. And, you know, he had, how long has it been since Revenge of the Sith? It, was, it had probably been at least 10 years. And he just starts wielding, as soon as he gets the lightsaber in his hand, he starts wielding it like, well, Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's lost none of his ability. And I, every time I, I, to be honest, I sometimes go back and just watch that clip because it reminds me of just the sheer joy that, you know, it doesn't matter how old you are. You give somebody a lightsaber, anybody, <laughs> they become a Jedi Knight. And he did. And he, he lost. I mean, watching him just he can spin it around to do the one handed thing. I mean, it was awesome. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it would be it would be good to see him back again. Questions for you guys. What do you think about us? Do you think it's actually going to make that that shoot date? And then do you have some speculation when they might actually air it? Who knows? We're a long ways away from that, though, admittedly. Jump down to the comment section below and let us know what you think. All right, guys.